Anyway, I just wanted you to see that uh, we have built this for our, our elevator. Thank you all so much. <laughs> Day they continue to speak. Night after night, night, they make them The instructions of the Lord are perfect. Resigning the soul. The commandments of the Lord are right. Bring joy to the heart. Reverence for the Lord is pure. Lasting forever. The laws of the Lord are true. Each one is fair. The Lord loves and acquits his children. All praises to God. Amen. And let's uh, say together the prayer of confession. Lord, Lord I, I confess my sins, sins to you. Please have mercy upon me, for you are faithful and just to forgive my sin and cleanse me from all, all my righteousness. Help me, Lord, to repent when I have sinned and fallen short of your glory. Jesus, I love you, and I believe you love me. Amen. And our opening hymn is... The opening hymn is number 401, The Church is One Foundation.
Father, we come to you this morning, your children in this place, asking your presence, O Holy Spirit, to be with us and open our ears and hearts to hear your word, to take it with us when we go, to be your children, Lord, in obedience. We thank you for the church. And over the years and centuries, how it has struggled. But your children are true. But we are sinful. And we always need your grace, Father. Your love. And Jesus Christ, your mercy. What you've done for us. So be with us this morning. Father, bless Rachel. We're so happy to have Rachel with us. Thank you for Rachel for being with us this morning, Lord. And may you be pleased with our service and with your children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. now, what, uh, how 
Hills and Gladeville churches where we are now. And we're in a time of transition. And in that time of trans transition, I know that um, I know there's a process. You know, I've always been on the other side of this process. I've never been on the congregational side of the process. But I know there's a process that congregations go through in Presbyterian Church that I think is a really good process to look at who we are and who it is, what kind of person it is that we want to call to lead us. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I just decided, well, I'm going to look at who we are. Mm -hmm. And I made a list of things and you know, we're children of God, and we're uh, disciples of Christ, and we are the bride of Christ. And I thought, oh yeah, before we can be anything, we have to be the bride of Christ. And so that's what I'm preaching about today. And I chose a scripture from Isaiah, and when I started doing research on Isaiah, the first thing I read was, don't preach on this scripture all by itself. <laughs> <laughs> And I know that Isaiah is complicated and powerful and packed so full of many things, but I have chosen a portion of a portion of one of uh, his uh, his writings, of uh, Isaiah's writings. So what I'm reading is I'm, I'm reading from Isaiah chapter 54, and I'm reading verses 5, 2 through 10. It sound a little bit strange to be speaking about the bride of Christ, but bear with me. For your maker is your husband. The Lord of hosts is his name. The Holy One of Israel is your redeemer, the God of the whole earth he is called. For the Lord has called you like a wife forsaken and grieved in spirit. 